Welcome to Borderline IT Tutorials. Today we're going to look through um, configuring Gmail as a relay for postfix um, for Odo, for an Odo installation. Let's go. Welcome to Borderline IT Tutorials. Um, today we're going to show how to um, use Gmail as relay for, um, for postfix on an Odo server. So uh, in some instances, there are problems sending out emails with Odo, um, usually related to, especially on the managed servers. Um, you can use um, postfix, make postfix relay through Gmail, um, send out emails through Gmail. So we're going to do that. So um, first thing, on this server, we have uninstalled postfix so it's fresh um, there's no postfix on it so we have to install postfix that's where we have to start so to install postfix we're going to run the command sudo apt install postfix you can see it right there so we run that now it starts and it's um, starts the configuration uh, internet site you see the interface and the different um, options there so we're going to select um, internet site here for the general type of mail configuration Enter. Um, the system mail name it's taking dayhair.com because dayhair.com is so we keep it as mail dot Go on. It continues the process. So it installs. Now we are going to install um, LIB ASL2. Um, this is a package which helps manage SASL, which is simple authentication and security layer. So sudo apt get install LIB SASL2 modules postfix and we run this so it's already installed and it's no longer required fine okay now the next step is to create a um, an SASL password file um, which is going to be in the postfix folder inside the SASL folder and postfix folder so we we do bi etc postfix SASL, SASL password so it's a new file and then we are going to Populated SMTP the Gmail dot com. This is Google SMTP with five eight seven and then the name is This is the name of the email account which you want to use. And then whatever your password is, we put it here. So after entering our password, we save the file. 
can you shoot ZZ to save the file uh, via command. Next step is to create the hash database for Alpha Postfix. So we run this command sudo postmap etc postfix csl csl password create the hash database file. Now let's check if we have that file. So we do um, let's let let's do let's let's cd into cd into the post the SESL folder to see if we have the hash db so we see the file so we have it the database file so that is well and good now we don't want anybody to be able to access these files because they contain our password so we're going to restrict access and change the permissions so that only the root user can read or write from the file. So we use this command. Change ownership of the root. And set the permissions level. Now the next thing we are going to do is to configure the postfix relay server. Um, so we are going to work on the postfix configuration file and we'll modify the host relay host entry there to Google SMTP. So I'm going to vi into the postfix config file which is postfix main.cf in etc. Okay, I'm in there. So you see there is the command relay host and I'm going to add um, smtp.gmail Okay, I have to insert first to be able to type smtp.gmail.com for 587 Okay, that's good. And then we're going to add some parameters to enable authentication. So we are going to add these commands enable SSL authentication, disallow methods that allow anonymous authentication, the location of the SSL cell password, enabling start CLS, location of the certificates. Okay, so we're going to save the changes now. Escape she was and then we're going to restart postfix. So do system CTL restart postfix. Okay. So now we've done the installation, let's test postfix and see. So we do send mail. Um send it to any email address you want to. And you put the from another line, you put a subject, anything you want, anything you want. And then you type your body, I will send anything. And then you full stop. And then 
so I checked and I received the email, so which means um, Google has now been configured as relay on this server, so that's good. Now I'll go to my Odo application. I'm going to general settings because I want to configure my ugly email servers. So localhost is what I'm going to use now since I'm going using Postfix and Gmail as a relay. I'm going to edit it and put priority 2 so it has the highest priority. Save that. Now I test the connection. Succeeded. I'm going to try to send an email out. Now I'm testing the mail and I'm sending this to an email address. Send. So let me see if I re so I received it, which means my test was successful, and that's a good thing. Um, thank you for staying with us on Borderline IT Tutorials. Um, we'll see you again with another lesson.